Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the evening of February the 3rd, 2019. When I wake up tomorrow morning, I'll be 75 years old. Pretty nuts, huh? Anyway, I just uh, read an interesting article posted on Fox News, written by Travis Fetchum, that's F-E-D-S-C-H-U-M. It was published on the 3rd of February, 2019. Uber driver in Arizona had throat slit by passenger. Man arrested, police say. You see a photograph of this dirt bag. A man in Arizona was arrested Thursday for allegedly slitting the throat of an Uber driver less than a week after a pregnant woman working for a rideshare competitor, Lyft, was stabbed and killed. Francisco J. Diaz, 45. I wonder if he's an illegal immigrant. Has been charged with second degree murder, attempted murder, and two counts of aggravated assault in connection with the incident, according to court documents obtained by Fox 10. The unidentified Uber driver told police that Diaz was picked up from Buffalo Wild Wings in Goodyear, Arizona, Wednesday night. During the ride, the 45-year-old produced a large knife. He later used it in an unprovoked attack to slash and stab the driver before he fled from the vehicle. The driver drove away and called 911 before being taken to a trauma center with extensive injuries. What the driver experienced is frightening, an Uber spokesperson told Fox News on Sunday. There is nothing more important than the safety of the drivers and the riders we serve. We are relieved he is recovering and stand ready to help police in their investigation. Diaz was arrested Thursday after Tullison Police, in coordination with the FBI, Violent Crime Task Force, conducted an investigation and took the 45-year-old into custody at his home without incident. The driver, who asked not to be identified out of fears for his own safety, told 12 News he had received more than 20 staples in his throat from the injury. Blood just started gushing out, he told television station. I kept saying, I'm not going to die. A woman told Fox 10 she saw the suspect at a bar before the attack. Quote, he kind of went around the bar and he started showing that knife, and I wasn't comfortable. Neither were my guests or employees, Liz Glenn said, adding that she was shocked after seeing Diaz mugshot on the news. Glenn told Fox he had chilling last words. Quote, he said, you don't know what I'm capable of, said Glenn. He said that over and over again to different people who were trying to get him out of the bar and away from the situation. In court documents obtained by Fox 10, Diaz said he admitted to pulling out a knife he possessed, swinging the knife at the driver and cutting his hands, adding that he felt the Uber driver was going to hurt him. There's another embedded video of another attack on an Uber driver. I think this one was in Las Vegas. <clears throat> the 45-year-old is being held on 500,000 cash-only bond and will be placed under electronic monitoring if he's released. <laughs> Where's he going to get 500,000 cash, huh? He is set to appear in court next on February the 7th. The attack in Phoenix suburb came the same week that a Lyft driver brutally stabbed his pregnant driver multiple times, killing her and her unborn child before stealing the victim's vehicle. Fabian Durazzo, 20, drove nearly 150 miles before being arrested near the California line on Monday, officials said. Tempe police said victim Christina Hawato, 39, was in the third trimester of pregnancy, a report said. It looks to me like uh, these jobs, driving these Ubers and these Lyft, they're pretty damn dangerous. I don't know why they allowed that woman to drive at night. I mean, that's totally nuts. But it is what it is. Take a look at this dirt bag. I'm going to see if I can find out if he was here illegally. If you find out, let me know and I'll let my viewers know. The link will be attached. Thanks for listening.